Muslim loving Mayor de Blasio just made disgusting change to Nick's subway that'll piss you off liberal elites are the biggest proponents of socialism and often proclaim themselves to be on the side of the poor and downtrodden in society. Though it is more often than not that these politicians that are the ones that do the worst to the poor with their horrible policies. There are many liberals that fit this bill in office, but none as despicable as New York Mayor Bill de Blasio. This liberty is not racking up any new support lately and that is not going to change anytime soon after what he just did on a New York City subway. Mayor de Blasio has been in the news a lot lately, and it is not for anything good either. Earlier this month, de Blasio flew to Germany to protest President Trump instead of paying his respects to murdered New York police officer my ass it is familiar. On top of that de Blasio has shown his disdain for hard-working Americans which is obvious in all of his policy makings. Not only has de Blasio raised taxes, attacked conservatives, and sided with Black Lives Matter he also has given preferential treatment to Muslims in his city. Now, this liberal elitist has taken it another step too far this past Sunday on a subway trip through the city. Apparently, de Blasio wanted to have a photo shoot on the subway to show the people of New York how he related to them as a common man. However, de Blasio must have forgotten what it means to be an everyday person with what he ordered. Mayor de Blasio was not too fond that there were homeless people milling around the subway platform and had police officers move them away. Ah, must be nice to be king. Here is more from New York Post. Mayor Bill de Blasio ventured into the city's decrepit subway system Sunday, but didn't have to face the foul smelling and often crazy vagrants whom ordinary New Yorkers are forced to contend with every day. That's because police were ordered to roust all the homeless people from two stations ahead of the mayor's four-stop press event as he rode from his Park Slope gym to his new Ray election headquarters in downtown Brooklyn. Law enforcement sources told the Post, the rank and file had until 11 a.m. to prepare the 4th Avenue 9th Street and J Street Metro Tech F train stations for the mayor's brief, underground publicity stunt, sources said. One source characterized the directive. Contained in an email from the NYPD's Transit Bureau, as instructing cops to make sure nobody's hanging out so that the stations looked nice, another source said the mayor's office notified police brass of his schedule ahead of time with the expectation that the subway stations would be free and clear of homeless people. It's too bad he's only interested when he's going to get on the subway, the source said. I wish he had the same attention to detail when he wasn't on the subway. Too bad he doesn't care about quality of life for all passengers and not just himself. A newsstand manager inside the J Street Metro Tech station was shocked by the noticeable absence of derelicts on the uptown A, C and F platform surrounding his kiosk. I see a lot of homeless people in a week, up to 25, on average 5 a day. Today, I have seen only one, Ali Imtia said. I was asking my colleague today why we don't see any homeless. Imtiaz also said he spotted a group of cops, more than four of them, stroll past his business around 10 a.m., and lamented that it didn't happen more often. It's good for everybody that they clear out the homeless, he said. This should be continued. This is a very busy subway. De Blasio's presumptive Republican challenger, Staten Island Assemblywoman Nicole Maliartikis, blasted the arbitrary crackdown. For someone who claims to care about the most poor New Yorkers, to have someone clear his path when he's about to board the subway, tells you all you need to know about Mayor de Blasio, she said. These are fellow New Yorkers who are sleeping in the street, sleeping in the subway. The mayor just doesn't care. Jean Rashanoff, of the Strap Hangers campaign, blasted the temporary removal of the homeless. The optics are terrible, he said. It looks like they don't want them to intrude on a movie set, of course. A city hall spokesperson denied that de Blasio kicked people out of the station, and fired back that these sources are refusing to provide their names because what they are saying is not true. In order to prove that de Blasio was not a jerk to the homeless's press secretary, Eric Phillips mentioned that the mayor had a few minute chat with a homeless person upon emerging from the subway. Oh, well that makes everything better now, right? Nope. Mayor de Blasio is a joke and needs to be voted out in soon. These liberal elitists have all been exposed as hypocrites and yet people still vote for these jokers. Hopefully, the people of New York are sick of being lied to and is now ready for real leadership again in their city.